is really scary to get a haircut. Because whenever I sit down in a salon chair, I almost always get back up unhappy. So because of this, I have spent a lot of time trying to find my own kind of way of cutting my hair. The Debuchon style of cutting is cutting on freshly washed, dry hair. And you cut just about the last curl loop, maybe like inch, inch and a half, that is experiencing some uh, breakage, extending ends, or just kind of looks frizzy and just needs a little snip. I know this isn't a true Devachon haircut, and that's the point. The only haircuts I can actually remember even remotely liking were when I had my straight hair, which I always cut straight and dry, because I had to know how long my hair was going to be at that point. So the Devachon method of cutting hair has always kind of uh, appealed more to me. I had actually been doing that for a little while already before I realized that it was kind of like a style of hair cutting anyway. I want you guys to know that I do have damaged hair, so um, if your hair doesn't look like this, I would appreciate you guys um, not leaving like hurtful comments because I, yes I understand that my hair is damaged and I have been working for like four years to get it to this. And if you saw the state my hair was in when I was in high school, when I would wear curly, you would not tell me that my hair looked brittle. <sighs> it's like, it's like night and day. Honestly, it's literally, I, I'm going to try to find a picture from high school, but I almost never wore my hair curly in high school for that reason specifically. So, uh, yes, I do realize I have some damage and if you could keep that to yourself since I'm admitting it to you now, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Notice that um, because I don't cut a majority of hairs, I only do three or four at a time, sometimes it can cause more knots towards the crown. So that's really the only negative that I've noticed doing this. Um, and that's why I've realized, okay, I need to get a haircut. I just don't really know what to do. And if I'm doing something dreadfully wrong, please let me know because I just try things and see if they work. And if, you know, if it remotely seems like it's getting better, then I'm going to keep doing it because I like the result that I have here and I noticed that my hair has, um, even though it's been cut, it's trimming, I definitely prefer that over the big chop. And if you guys have any tips for me, please leave them in the comments below because I'm always looking for new ways to revive my curls. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.